first of all, I just wandered in like anyone who does to buy a book. And with those twinkling little eyes of Mira, she said, wouldn't it be lovely, Leanne, if we could have a magical painted cave under that dingy ramp? And um, so voila, we painted a whole mural and we crawled in underneath all the cobwebs and Dennis helped and we were so happy at the end. It was on a chilly Sunday in August, around 11am, that 40 Nilambic u 3 a artists gathered in the Elton Coles upper car park. Their plan was to stage an impromptu procession through the busy Elton Sunday food market, bearing aloft the story serpent, a snake created with love and laughter by the group. This was its first outing, and they were its proud parents. It was with much discussion, suggestions and laughter that the group did just that. They made a marvellous circuit between rows of amazing produce stores. To the delight of children and shoppers, the 20 metre story serpent and its many keepers wended their way, dipping, diving and even dancing through the crowd. Bemused shoppers may have wondered what these ladies and two men were on about. But their journey was taken in fun and tickled the curiosity of many onlookers. Curiosity in the snake, in the artists and in their eventual destination. Finally, the story serpent arrived at its new home where Mira, her team, even more U3A artists and many bookshop patrons were expectantly waiting. <laughs> After yet another circuit, this time between mountains of fascinating literature and artwork, the serpent finally came to rest in the children's corner of the shop. That journey had ended and, for the snake, another task was just beginning. This was the official opening of the bookshop, so speeches were in order. I'd like to now ask Leanne to say a few words. Uh, I'm sure she's going to talk about you as well. So. I'm willing to talk about this because Mia is an absolute treasure. She's our treasure. And so on behalf of everybody here, I'd like to thank Mira and Naveen for 26 years, apparently, of the creative and literary support that you've given our Nilavik community. Because I think you've always been so open, the bookshop is always open, but your mind is always open and you're an ideas person. And so that's what I, I want to celebrate. So to find her next location, Again, just I politely walked in one day and Mira, ever so politely again with those twinkling eyes, said to me, wouldn't it be wonderful <laughs> to have a long, col colourful pillow to fill that space that Adam and Russell have put there with the bookshelves? 
and voila, off we go back to the two double um, art groups, morning and evening, uh, morning and afternoon. And they took that idea so well that we all painted on one day from morning till, till afternoon a whole serpent story snake and it was so much fun. We chatted, we laughed, we told stories. It was a real bonding experience between our two art groups and um, the magical material just arrived because Joan Dennison can find anything given to her. All of the pillows and the stuffing just a, a, a magically arrived again so we could stuff and sew it up. And it was, as I said, such a joyful thing. And so now we hope this serpent presides over many more tales of life as we all enjoy writing, reading, painting and telling stories and all, all those stories to our grandchildren, our children and ourselves. We thank you, Mira and, Mir and Naveen. You've encouraged our reading and our creativity. Thank you so much.